Unreal Engine Fest Seattle is currently going on and they've announced many major things. In this video, I'm going to cover them all so you know what's happening. First up, Epic Games recently announced Unreal Engine 5.5 Preview and it's now available through the Epic Games Launcher. Whilst it's important to note that this is a preview version and shouldn't be used in production environments, the new features are certainly worth talking about and exploring. Let's dive into the key features that make Unreal Engine 5.5 a game changer for developers and artists alike. Unreal Engine 5.5 introduces Mega Lights. This experimental feature is set to transform how lighting is handled in real-time rendering. It gives people the ability to render thousands of lights in a single scene it supports for textured area lights in real time and gives improved performance and allows for complex lighting setups. During the Unreal Engine Fest demonstration, Epic showed a marketplace scene featuring over a thousand dynamic light sources all running smoothly on a PlayStation 5. This level of lighting complexity was previously only possible in offline rendering, but Mega Lights will bring it to real time game environments. Unreal Engine 5.5 will also introduce the Mutable plugin for character creation and customization. This plugin simplifies workflows by handling clothing interactions automatically, like hiding hair under helmets and tucking pants into boots. It also optimizes performance by reducing draw calls and merging mess sections and textures. The Mutable plugin will ship as beta in Unreal Engine 5.5 with a content sample included to help users get started. Unreal Engine 5.5 also adds support for customizable vehicles using building block style assembly system for easy configuration and customization. These improvements aim to simplify content creation processes and reduce the need for manual work in creating character and vehicle variations. One of the most exciting additions to Unreal Engine 5.5 is the experimental support for Nanite skeletal meshes. This feature brings the power of Nanite technology to character rendering offering linear blend skinning with dynamic displacement, improved rendering of high quality characters and crowds. With Nanite skeletal meshes, developers can create incredibly detailed characters and render large crowds without sacrificing performance. Unreal Engine 5.5 continues to push the boundaries of real-time lighting with improvements to the Lumen rendering system. Additionally, a new denoiser for ray tracing has been introduced, further enhancing the quality of lighting and reflections in games. The team at Epic Games is making significant progress towards achieving 60 FPS ray tracing, which will bring cinematic quality lighting to real-time gameplay experiences. Unreal Engine 5.5 also introduces several improvements to its animation toolset, making it easier for artists to create and refine character animations directly within the engine. It introduces real-time deformers for in-game animation, an improved skeletal mesh system, these enhancements will allow developers to iterate on animations faster, reducing the need to constantly switch between Unreal Engine and external 3D software. Unreal Engine 5.5 hasn't forgotten about mobile developers. The new update includes mobile UI visualization tools for cross-platform development, improved performance optimizations for mobile devices, enhanced meta sound support for better audio experiences on mobile platforms. These features will help developers create more polished and performant mobile games using Unreal Engine 5.5. And on the 1st of January, 2025, they're introducing the Launch Everywhere with Epic. Through this program, they are offering a royalty rate reduction from 5% to 3.5% on all platforms and stores for eligible Unreal Engine games published on the Epic Game Store from 2025 onwards. You are eligible for this rate reduction if you ship your game on the Epic Game Store before or at the same time you release it on other stores on corresponding platforms. The royalty reduction will apply to all platform stores where you offer your games, including consoles. The royalty rate will revert to 5% if you offer your Unreal Engine game on another PC or Android store and do not offer it on the Epic Game Store for the corresponding platform. So if you don't know what that is, basically when you make a game, if it makes over $1 million in gross revenue, any additional money that you make after that, you have to pay a 5% royalty to Unreal Engine. However, they're saying if you ship your game on the Epic Game Store when it launches, then that will be reduced to 3.5, which is really cool. So those are all of the major announcements that they announced at their Unreal Engine Seattle Fest. There are even more things, if you can even believe that, although those are all of the main ones I wanted to cover. Let me know, what do you think of them? Okay, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to keep updated on all things Unreal Engine, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.